Hello touchpad users. This video is about the new alternate method for installing the NuGet ROM. We're assuming you already have a loaded and working touchpad toolbox version 42. And remember, no compatible zips needed. Only the three zips that you need, the ROM, GApps, and Twerp. So let's go down and grab the double stuff.zip file at the bottom of the post. Now let's click this zip file and save it off to the desktop. There you see it saved right now. Let's go to the top of the post now for further instructions. Now we're going to extract this double stuff.zip file and remove two files from there, the twerp temp load win.bat and new image twerp. Let's open up the folder and drag and drop these two files into the working touchpad toolbox directory. Now let's go to step two and download the ROM, GFs, and twerp zip files. And we're going to be putting these files into a folder I created called Nougat Zips on my desktop. Let's first put the Flipman twerp and now we'll get the ROM. Download that and save it off to the Nougat Zip. Last but not least, the GApps file will do the same thing. Go to the link, save the GApps file to that same folder. Now let's open up that folder just to see that we have the three required zip files. As I check them, we do have them correctly. We want to set these aside for now because we will be needing them later. Now we want to go to the third step, the touchpad PC execution steps. And for this step, you'll want to connect your PC to your touchpad via the required cable. So let's boot into the touchpad and boot into WebOS Recovery. As you'll see, an HP logo will come up, a giant USB symbol. And then you'll want to go back to your PC and run the bat file touchpad toolbox v42 win.bat. You'll see a black screen come up and that should disappear fairly quickly. And then you're back to the touchpad where up will finally come after some print statements the famous JC Sullen's touchpad toolbox. And in that toolbox, we're going to run the complete data reset. So scroll down with your volume up and down buttons and then press the home key. And then we will want to say yes three times because we are sure we want to do the complete data reset. And when that completes, you'll see a green done in the left middle of the screen there. And then we want to go to the other step called Resize Android Volumes. What I like to do when resizing Android Volumes is I like to put all the media storage into unallocated. And then from there, I will populate the cache, the system, and the data volumes respectively with the correct sizes. Media, 1,000 megabytes. Cache, 200 megabytes. And system at 1,312 megabytes. And data will contain the rest of the memory. And I'll go through this fairly quickly. And now we want to press the Apply key. And that will save these volume sizes. Once that is completed, we want to reboot then once again into WebOS Recovery. And this time, we're going to run the file twerp temp load win .bat. So once that's rebooted, go to your PC 
and follow these instructions running the twerp temp load win.bat file. And as that comes up, you'll see a black screen that gives four more instructions. They say wait, and you'll see the temporary load of the twerp recovery. Wait, and you'll see the touchpad drive mounted on your PC. Then we'll want to drag and drop the ROM, GApps, and twerp into the mounted directory. And finally, press install on the touchpad. So first, let's see the temporary load of twerp that will come up. We swipe to allow modifications. And before we press the install button, we want to go back to the PC on the mounted directory. On my PC, it shows up as touchpad internal storage, twerp. And now we want to drag and drop these files from the NuGet zip folder into the twerp directory. Okay, once those files are there, we can kind of close off a few windows now to clean things up on our PC. And then we'll go back to the touchpad and press the install button and then twerp. And we'll want to load the ROM, add more zips, the G apps, add more zips, and finally the flint twerp. Now this will load the zip files up and we'll wait for that. It'll give you an option to wipe the cache in Dalvik. Start your engine. So now is the exciting part. We're gonna now boot into Elvervolve. Ah, isn't that such a beautiful sight? The blue Android Nougat start screen. Now from here, I usually boot back up into the twerp recovery because I have saved my applications to a backup directory, not on this video. So I boot back up into twerp And before I press the restore button, I go back on my PC to the same directory, as you see, touchpad internal storage, twerp. And then I want to drag and drop my backup directory that will magically appear on my desktop here. And as you see, it's like three folders deep. And I drag and drop the backup directory into the twerp directory. And after that finishes loading and the green bar is all the way to the right side, you'll want to then press the restore button on twerp recovery. And this will take a while to load, but we'll speed through this fairly quickly. And reboot the system.
and there are my apps. Thanks for watching.